Hi, I'm Adria, and today I'm going to show you how to scan your documents to the cloud. We all have things we need to keep track of. Papers, notes, receipts. The problem, they're in paper form. They clutter our desks, they fill our filing cabinets, and they look unprofessional. So today we're going to look at taking these documents and getting them into cloud services, including Evernote, Dropbox, and Google Docs. To get started, let's make sure we have everything we need. The first is you'll need your documents that you're planning to scan. There we go, I have mine. The second is you'll need a printer that supports scanning. So any sort of multifunction printer uh, will work great, as well as a computer to go ahead and get the documents from your printer up to the cloud. So let's talk about the three cloud services that we're gonna look at scanning our documents into today. The first is Evernote. Evernote is great because it provides you with a virtual space which contains notebooks in which you can store information. Now you can go ahead and clip web pages, add images in there, but you can also scan things to Evernote, which is great. Once it's there, you can actually search for text, organize things, tag them. Uh, the other nice thing too is it starts off being private until you share it out. So the way we're gonna get things into Evernote today will be via an email alias that you get when you sign up for Evernote. The second cloud service that we're gonna be looking at is Dropbox. It allows you to share files between computers. You install it, it synchronizes a folder, and that folder is available anywhere. So freelancers, designers, uh, and even technical folks and accountants find it very, very convenient because you can easily just go ahead and share documents. So we're gonna be looking at a tool which allows us to send via email to Dropbox and then make those available. And the third cloud service that we'll be scanning to is Google Docs. Google Docs is part of the Google Apps suite. So if you are a business and you have a domain name and you connect it to Google Apps, that gives you access to email, calendars, and the Google Docs system. You can upload existing documents, you can create new Word and Excel documents, even presentations. It's very convenient when it comes to collaborating with other people because you can go ahead and make changes. Everyone can see those changes. You can leave notes and comments. And when you're ready, and if you need to, you can go ahead and download those documents into PDFs, Word docs, and so on. So how do you get documents like these into cloud services like those? Well, let's start with Evernote. Evernote gives you an email address that you can send attachments to. So you go ahead and start an email, include the alias, provide the attachment, and then it shows up in Evernote. That's great if you have a couple of documents, but we're gonna look at a solution when you have quite a few. Now with Dropbox, there's not a way to directly email things into Dropbox. Well, someone has created Send to Dropbox, which is an add-in so that you can get an email alias and then you can go ahead and send them to Dropbox. Now, what happens if you have a lot of documents? Or in the case of Google Docs, how do you get them there? Well, there's not an email alias for Google Docs, unfortunately, but there is a solution called Office Drop and that allows you to scan in documents, PC or Mac, and then go ahead and select your destination. And it actually supports all three. So Evernote, Dropbox, and Google Docs. Now that type of solution may not work for everyone because your organization may be required due to compliance and regulations to not store things in the cloud. I get that. Don't worry, there's a solution for you too. And it's known as the private cloud. What does that mean? What it means is instead of sending your documents to a cloud service like Google Docs, Dropbox, and Evernote, instead you take documents that you need to share within your company and you scan them to a network folder. So in the case of the Chicago employee coming on, someone would walk over to a printer, they scan the item, and then they go ahead and select the destination as scan to network folder. It shows up in HR's folder, HR processes it, and the employee is hired on, no problem at all, without having to go through a cloud service. All right, so now that I've shown you how to take these sort of documents and put them into the cloud, let's review the benefits of doing so. The first one is collaboration. Once documents are in a centralized area in the cloud, it's easy for you to share with others, get feedback, and go ahead and make edits. You don't have to send files back and forth. The second is for storage. You no longer need to buy additional filing cabinets or worry about where something is. And with the power of the cloud now, it's so easy to search for a document and actually find it versus going through drawers and drawers and asking people where a folder is. 
Now let's talk about who would use these type of services. If you're already a small business and you're already using a cloud service, this is probably going to be pretty interesting to you. Also, if you have remote workers like salespeople out in the field and they need to send in signed agreements and things like that, they'll find this type of uh, solution valuable. Also, if you're a company and you have several locations, for example, in San Francisco, New York, and Chicago, and let's say the Chicago office hires someone new, they need to collect their identification, they need to have them sign an employment agreement, and maybe an NDA. How do those get to the, the home office? Well, they can go ahead and take those signed items, go ahead and scan them in, and send them to one of these cloud services. Okay, great. Well, that wraps up the second video on how to scan to the cloud. Make sure you check out the first video on how to set up your printer on the network. And there's one more video coming, which will compare laser printers for your office. As always, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe. Leave a comment or question down below and like my video. Thanks.